For a very long time now, neem has been used in so many homes for the treatment of scalp related issues. Issues such as dandruff, such as itchy scalp, flaky scalp. If you are one who suffers from flaky scalp, like you finish washing your hair right now and then within the next two days your scalp is already looking rough and dirty, then don't worry, I bring you this neem oil treatment that will help to treat your scalp related issues. Now, in combination to neem, I added garlic and ginger. I'll be telling the benefits of these ingredients as we move along. So I'm going to go ahead and peel my garlic and ginger to get them ready for our oil. Now when you plug your neem leaf, please make sure that you wash and dry it properly. I've already gone ahead to wash and dry my properly and that is why I did not show that part again, alright? So guys, you can also use neem powder, you can also use um, dried neem leaves if that is what you can get your hands in. You can get your hands on but me i prefer fresh 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 <laughs> but if you can if you cannot get fresh and you, you are able to get dried it's also okay all right When you finish getting your red your your ingredients ready, please pound your your recipe instead of blending them because when blending them you might be tempted to pour a little bit of water, of which is if it's not that it's completely bad, but then it's going to take a lot of time when you're cooking it to extract the oil. So pound it, don't blend it, so that it will be fast and easy. Okay. Now while we are preparing this, let's go ahead and talk about the benefits of using neem and garlic and ginger for hair growth. Now neem oil helps to combat dandruff and cure scalp infections and we already know this. If neem oil has been recommended for the treatment of head lice, itching, itchiness, dandruff and the rest of it. So if you're having any hair related issues, scalp, if, scalp infections, dandruffs, then you're on the right on the then you are on the right track with neem oil. Neem oil helps to strengthen the hair and this is because it is rich in fatty acid that nourishes the scalp and fortifies the hair follicles. Neem oil also helps to stimulate hair growth by, imp by improving blood circulation to the scalp. Ginger as well as neem improves blood circulation to the scalp which can promote healthy hair growth. It has anti-inflammatory properties that helps to soothe the scalp and reduce hair fall. Do you know that ginger also fights dandruff? This is because it has antimicrobial properties. So now that I've finished pounding my, my neem, I'm going to pour my oil. My first choice of oil is coconut oil. Coconut oil is very, very beneficial and plus it is rich in fatty acid. So following up with the coconut oil, I also added another 100 ml of sunflower oil to my remedy. I will then boil everything on the stove. Please reduce the light when you're boiling yours. Garlic is rich in sulfur. So, sulfur is an essential for strong healthy hair and garlic is super rich in sulfur. So garlic also helps in hair regrowth by promoting blood circulation. It helps to fight dandruff and prevent scalp infections. Guys, are you seeing that all of these ingredients helps to fight dandruff and also helps to prevent um, scalp infections? So the combination of these ingredients together will help to maintain a healthy hair scalp, promote fuller and thicker hair, as well as prevent hair loss. So at this point, I switched off my stove and brought it down to cool down, but by the time I was ready to strain it, the thing became more darker. So I recommend that when you are, when you are cooking yours, don't let it get brown before you off your stove. Just once it's, um, once it's dark green, I think that's what I'll call it, once it's dark green, just off your stove because as it's cooling, it will continue cooking until the heat is completely down.
So now I'm going to add my essential oils. I don't recommend that you skip this part unless you don't have it. If you have it, please, it is essential. Especially tea tree essential oil because it's also helped to fight scalp infections. All right. So I added lavender essential oil for the smell and for and to condition the hair, but it didn't do much in terms of masking the smells. I also added peppermint essential oil for its tingling sensation and the fact that it helps to prevent. It helps to promote. Uh, um, blood flow to this cup. And this is what my name Oyo is looking like. This neem oil is very light in consistency which means you can get away with using it every day if you're having scalp issues use it every day on your scalp for the maximum benefit if you're not having any scalp issues you're just using it for scalp care you can use it three times a week for the benefit for the maximum benefit and now guys if you combine rose if you combine rosemary water with this neem oil you're going to get amazing amazing benefit and this part I'm showing you how to make your own potent rosemary water so that you can use it in combination with your neem oil to enjoy the maximum benefit maximum benefit now guys if you enjoyed this video please don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more videos thank you so much for watching all the way to this point until i come your way next time please take care of yourself and ciao